Okay guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you five different hairstyles for five days of the week. So I'm going to go from Monday through Friday, and okay, I have a little explain to you. So I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in like a week, it's because I usually upload like two a week, or I'm going to try to do that, but um, I got sick, like, and my throat really hurt, and I didn't know like what was wrong, so I thought it was just like a cold or something. And then I got tested for strep, and I have like really bad strep throat. So that's why I haven't been making a video this week. And, little disclaimer here, my hair is not greasy, it is just wet. I mean, it might look greasy, I don't know if it does, or if it looks like, I don't know. And it is all, it is natural, so this is my natural hair. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, I literally just got, I got out of the shower like an hour ago, it's so drying. So it's not completely dry, I apologize for that. So yeah. Um, also, I'm filming this all in one day, so it might not look as realistic as it should, but that's good. So here we go. It's five braided hairstyles, so, no, five days a week, Monday through Friday. So yeah, hope you guys like it, and I'm sorry that I might be washed out, it's because I'm sitting in front of a window. So yeah, so five hairstyles, five days of the week. Let's get into it. <laughs> So you're going to want to start out by taking your hair and separating it into two sections. And this is just a fifth tail braid, but you're going to take a section from the outside and bring it to the inside of the other section. And then you're just going to keep doing that, like, again, you're going to take the outside section and put it to the inside of the other section. You're just going to keep doing that all the way down. Gonna want to secure it with an elastic at the end. To make your hair look thicker, you can start pulling out the braid and making it looser, and pull out any sections in the front that you'd like out of the braid. So you're gonna want to start out by doing a small section in the front of your hair, and you're just gonna want a regular braid all the way down. Taking the braid, you're just going to want to wrap it around the head to the back and start bobby pinning it to your head. So I'm guessing you don't want your hair to look like this. So you're going to start by taking your hair and pulling it back into a ponytail. Next, you're just going to want a regular braid all the way down and secure it with a hair elastic. To make your braid more full, you're just going to want to pull it out again. This step is optional, but you're just going to want to put a headband on. Not like that, but just put a headband on. Again, you're probably not going to want your hair to look like that, so you're going to separate your hair into four equal sections. And you're going to start by taking one piece and going under, then over, and then under again. And you're just going to repeat that using the outside piece, and you're just going to yeah, keep doing that, and it creates this kind of like weaved effect. And then you're going to secure it with an elastic and pull it out again to make it more fuller. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but you're just going to want to take a headband and slip it on. And if your hair is looking completely crazy, you can just flip it over and put it into a high ponytail. So you're just going to want to start by regular braiding it all the way down and securing it with a hair elastic. Now you're going to want to take your hair and just start wrapping it around itself and make a little top knot and secure it with a hair elastic and bobby pins if you need it. Again, the headband is optional if you don't want it, but you can just put a headband on. 